well come back ladies and gentlemen to my channel now today <clears throat> i have got a marvel to show you a game that surpasses many other games the brilliant graphical version of angband uh angband tk the tk is the graphical version the z at the front makes it zangband which means it's versed in uh, Roger Zelazny's Amber World, a uh, series of books, 10 books, uh, which are phenomenal. I'm sure they're making a series on that. I'm sure they're making a series on Amazon. So anyway, I'm going to take you through what this game is. Uh, if you want to go and have a look at some proper gameplay, skip to the next video in this series. Um, I'll probably put a little card up into the top corner. Maybe if I remember to go back and do it. This, all this YouTube stuff's new to me, meh. It's all new to me, meh. Okay, anyway. This is a roguelike. It's just friggin' brilliant. There's a picture of me on a horse. Check that out. That's in, um, uh, Idaho. The Silver Spur Ranch in Idaho. Fantastic. Wild horse driving. All these are all wild horses. And these people, me, and these other people, there were about 12 of us, drove these horses over a period of five days, and then we camped out. It was unbelievable. Really, really good. Anyway, here we go. We're going to create a new character. We're going to be a male character. Options first. I'm just going to have a quick look at this. You can look at all these different things. So you can see what you can do. I'm interested in that. The quests we're going to have on the wilderness, we're going to have on. That's fine. So I don't care about the options. Our character is going to be male. There are loads of different yeek. You can be a yeek. Yeeks are among the most pathetic creatures. Fortunately, their horrible screams can scare away less confident foes, and their skin becomes more and more resistant to acid as they gain experience. Anyway, yeeks, loads of different things. You can be a zombie, whereby you don't have to eat. So this is a normal roguelike where you have to keep your food up. Uh, if you die, you're dead, etc., etc. Um, normal kind of thing the amount of stuff in this game is phenomenal uh, we're just going to be if you're an amberite th then you're one of the the um the good sort of family in the zelazny books they're just really really good i'm just going to start off being um a human just because why not Doesn't make any difference um now as with all roguelikes it's probably easier to play the game as a warrior you then can essentially just run through monsters. Um, rangers use their bows, obviously priests cast spells. Paladins, yeah, also good. Monks, you know, you all know what these things are. Chaos warriors are cool. There's quite a lot of lore in the game. Um, can I make this bigger? Oh yeah, I can. There's quite a lot of lore in the game. Um, and that horse, that horse was called Sam. Oh my God, he was so good. Um, and every time you level up the, the the chaos god, whoever your patron is, uh, the patron demon, it will either give you a buff or a reduction, and it can do some great changes over the whole game. You end up with wings and claws and stink. You know, it's quite interesting. Um, in fact, we'll put we'll be a chaos warrior. In fact, because we're going to use this, um, because we're going to use this guy, let's be a draconian. So draconians are from the Dragonlance. Uh, world, the Dungeons and Dragons Dragonlance world. Um, oh, my cats are. Uh, hey! Cats are uh, corridors of power. Corridors of power. We've got. Anyway, don't need to know about the cats. So, the Draconians, there were different Draconians. You had Baal, Bozak, uh, various different ones, and they had different things. But anyway, we're going to be Draconians so we can fly. Um, they do various other things as well. Um, and they have a breath weapon which becomes more powerful, etc. But we're going to be a draconian chaos warrior. Genius. Phoebe! She is a nightmare. I tell you nothing. The other two cats are so placid. The boys are lovely. Anyway, what a surprise. Um, so anyway, you can read all this stuff. You can pause it. But we're going to go. Now, auto roller. Can we... We don't. I don't really know what we're doing here. So, keyboard. Any key to a board. Right now, here we go. 
This is the main screen for looking at your character. Can we move it? No, we can't. So there's a lot of information here, okay? A lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, stuff on the top left, name, title, the chaos realms that you're in, your patron. You've got a little bit of um, blurb at the bottom. We're the oldest child of a draconian priest. We have lavender wings, lavender skin, and a white belly. Mop! Um, we're 77 years old, etc. All this stuff, okay? 18 hit points, etc., etc., etc. Now, the main things are your stats strength, how much you can carry, how much damage you do, intelligence, spell points, how good you are with magic items, wisdom, how good you are with magic items, how good you are with pre spells, dexterity, how good you are with bows, traps, how quick you attack, constitution, your resistances to poison, various different things like that, and your hit points, charisma. Um, charisma does do stuff. Um, trading with shopkeepers because there are npcs in this game it's not just a level one in a dungeon go down to level 100 all those different things and you can see that all of those different attributes in the top right affect the things in the bottom right so saving throw your stealth fighting shooting all that kind of stuff and then in the middle very important stuff you've got your fighting skills and your shooting skills now we're not going to be interested in the shooting skills so we're going to get rid of we're not we're not going to get rid of it but we're just going to ignore it and we're just going to keep pushing r to, to roll these, but just to explain, obviously, this when we look at the stats in the top right, strength 18, that's what that's what we rolled. Uh, wait a minute, is that right? No. Okay, so that's what it is, and it was originally 14, but we got plus two for the race bonus, plus two for the class bonus. E bonus is equipment bonus that you would have later on in the game but it's there all of those would be zero obviously the draconians minus three charisma for the race because they are horrible spawn of dragons and the class bonus chaos warriors they're usually quite horrible as well so the charisma is really going to be quite um quite low but we're just going to re-roll oh i've clicked out of it somehow right right r now you see straight away there the strength so far it tells us I'm not sure why it's saying best, self best. I think that's to do with the auto roller. In fact, I should have turned the auto roller off because I don't really want the auto roller go doing that. Usually you can just keep pushing R and it changes. Uh, let's get a different one. What we want is high strength, high dexterity, high constitution. That's all we want, really. It's all I care about. That's pretty good. Dexterity is quite low, um, which is unfortunate. But now we can do R and then P to go back to this one. <laughs> now we're going to go back to the P and then we're going to roll again. And then we're going to go back to the P and you can see we can keep that one that we like. So then we're going to roll again. Go back, roll again. Roll. Oh no, we've lost our P. <laughs> now that's even better, pretty much. 1831, dexterity 16. That's cool, solid. You know, we're going to keep that. So we're going to push escape. We are going to call this guy, um, what should we call him? Garros. He's called Garros. Okay. Okay, so that's the character done. Then we push escape. <laughs> these, these, <laughs> these are the ones I've got. Twat, Sh, Clax, and Phalak. I'm pretty certain both of these will be similar to Garros. Uh, anyway, we'll save that. It's going to build the game whoa diddly whoa look at all this shiz going on now i think i've got all this set up how i want it uh i'm going to leave all these on quite big usually i would change these to not be so so large what i will do seriously there there are so many um where is the where are the options preferences no uh what am i looking for here you can move all these things around. I've moved these to be where I want them. Uh, you can see, so this is showing us, because we're a chaos warrior, The I think I've actually set these quite large because I knew I would stream this, uh, I'd do a video. Um, these are the four books of chaos, chaos spell books. There are loads of different realms of magic. You've got chaos, arcane, nature, death, uh, will, nature, uh, no, I said nature, um, trump, which is, from the Zelazny world as well. And there are four books in each of them usually. 
the first one is usually sort of cantrips second one is a bit better then some pretty good and then some mad spells really um yeah you can have pets you can do also you can do everything through this menu if you want you can also use the keyboard and you can also use the mouse uh and right click if i was able Ooh. and with all these games it's each turn is one nothing happens until you do something that it it's like it doesn't pause the game but it's sort of auto paused if you like what i'm trying to do here is look at do i want that options no i want to look at a sign yeah right these are all of this is genius look at it if you remember the original game Ang Band, when when you played it, it had like an ASCII tile set. So all of the, even you and all the walls and everything was made up of ASCII tiles. You know, A B C D slashes, forward slash, blah 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 blah, all these different things. What this the these person did, I think the guy's name was, I want to say David Gervais, maybe. But he's created this tile set of all of these wonderful 32 by 32 pixel things. So you can see that when you come up, and what's great about it as well, look, all of them have um, lore. And then once you've fought them once, it will tell you if you've encountered them before, how many you've killed, and any extra things that you know about it will appear down here. Seriously, dudes, this game is freaking mcfrickin brilliant now you don't really want to be going in here and looking at all this stuff because it can show you all of the things if i wanted to i could go through and change these obviously these are really badly drawn things uh the jub jub bird indeed now if you go down and you look at uniques i'm just gonna look at look at some of the things that are in this game these are all of the unique monsters and as they get further on they get some of them Uriel Angel of Fire, Azrael Angel of Death and Caligan the Black there you go it's a, and you all know some of these Gandalf's in it Tiamat look at that Tiamat usually found guarding the first plane of hell Tiamat is a formidable opponent have five heads breathing deaths Th what's great about it Fiona is from the book from the Zelazny books she's one of uh, Corwin's sister She's beautiful and deadly. I've always been very fond of Fiona. She's certainly the loveliest, most civilized of all Amberites. I think Fiona's the one who has the, the dogs, the the Irish wolfhounds. Great set of books, guys. Great set of books. Uh, anyway, so you can look at all these um, these people. I wouldn't suggest you go and do that. Sauron, look. Originally known as the White Sauron, fell prey to Sauron's wiles. Gandalf, there you go. Some of these have a lot more... Um, law about them um yeah carmel the Eastling from lord of the rings so there's all these wonderful things and there are loads of diff i mean loads of different monster types loads of different monster types and importantly loads of different items to pick up um seriously it is just oh, i can't wait to start getting in and playing this game uh right so what i all i want to do is look at us and we and we've got this stupid horrible thing so i don't want that i want to pardon me i want to look at something that looks like what we might want to be a little dragon oh look at that that looks kind of cool these dragons god if you see these dragons you you'll just oh man this game this game is a gobledily gobludulu kaplinski uh that one's kind of cool. We've got lavender wings, so they're blue. Uh, but he looks a bit big. He just looks a bit too crappy. We've got some dogs down here. Uh, that he looks kind of mental. A lot of these aren't used in the game, actually. All these look like specials. Anything here that looks good? He looks kind of cool, but he doesn't have wings. Um, let I'll just pick one because otherwise we will be doing this forever and ever and ever all the angels look good as well where's the little draconians 
Where were they? They were the dragon, the little baby dragons, but they just don't look right, do they? Yeah, right, let's go with one of these. We'll just be one of these dudes. We're a warrior, so we're just gonna be this guy. Okay, now, if I click on him, and then do I click here, and then I click here, click, click, I'm just double clicking, double click that, double click that, double click that, double click that, assign to character, assign to character, assign to, <laughs> As yeah, assign what, icon, to character, yeah, come on, come on, assign it, did it work? No. Okay, I'll work out how to do that. Um, so when you hover your mouse over here, you can see what's on your minimap. When you go off the side of each of the minimaps, it flicks over to the next one. We're in the first town of, it's called Outpost, that's where we are. All these different things are real buildings that you can go in and buy things from and do various different things. That is a little dungeon, one of the first dungeons. This is obviously what we're holding. Oh, we do actually have a Chaos Spellbook, but we, um, Let's let's uh, let's browse it. Well, so these are the chaos, the the spell book, the sp the first load of spells, magic missile, flash of light, touch of confusion, firebolt, level you need to be, the mana you get, fist of four, and teleport. Uh, everything you carry. Do we push I for inventory? Uh, yep, yeah, sort of. That kind of works. You can see we're carrying seventy, hundred fifty six out of 260 don't know what that means 260 is the most we can carry um oh we're carrying seven we've got 70 pounds worth of stuff we can put that on yep give us our sword and you can see this changes our attributes over here and you can ins inscribe things why if you inscribe it it just puts it at the end of that hover over at the bottom which is uh which is weird anyway um Okay, I'd really like to know, guys, how to change my character, please. I don't like being this uh, assign. Yeah, this to you. Him. Assign to character. Assign the alternate. What the frick icon? Assign that to me. I see what I've got to do now. Right, so what I need to do is click here and go assign character and then choose the one I want. And it's that one. It wasn't that difficult to work out, was it? And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wanted to do. We now look kick the frick ass. So let's have a little look around. Let's kill this dude. Now you can target, you can hover over the things it tells you, the hobo. Let's go and kill the hobo. And they've put some brilliant sound effects in this. And they'll, they'll move as well. Let me get the cursor out of the way. This game. <laughs> Cling. You hit the hobo. So stuff that's happening up here is very important. Where I'm pointing in the top right, uh, top left. You've got to have a check of this. Why is this? That font is just a bit too. There we go. I'll just bring that down a bit because it was just. And all of this stuff you can change. You can just click into it and, and change. The message window, this is just a list of everything that happens, so you can go back and check what's happening. All of your um, equipment is on here. You, I don't know why the icons don't work. Uh, I thought there was a way of switching this between equipment and um, thingy. There might be. What's that? There you are. I knew it. It was uh, the forward arrow, the, the question mark. So then you can quickly do things here without having to go into this screen. Anyway. Let's explore the town. So we don't have much uh, stuff. And these are the only places you can have things. You can have um, shootables, a quiver, a helmet, amulet, braces, a ringer, a ringer for your fingers. Um, actually, they're probably, yep, gloves there, a cape and shoes and your breastplate or your, your normal armor. And obviously different things do different things. The metal scale minus two is saying it gives us minus two speed or something because it's heavy, but it gives us 13 
um, armor, which is here. Why well, they've got these stupid... Oh, look at that. That's telling us plus one. The plus one. I don't know why the plus one's there. Can we do that again? No. Interesting. But it is impl implemented in there, which is lovely. Okay, that it doesn't matter. So, this is uh, I'd like general shop. General store owned by Forever the cheap. Now we do want to buy a cloak, so we know we can buy a cloak. Various different things, food, food, oil for a, a lantern. Lanterns give you better light than a torch, so we probably will buy one. Arrows, bolts, arrows, pebbles for sling, iron shots for something else. A magical figurine of a yellow jelly. It looks interesting. The cost is all here, guys. That's way too expensive at the minute. Iron spikes. You can use... I never really use these in the game. But you can use these to, like, uh, wedge doors. Because some monsters will just come and get you. They'll just be coming for you, man. Um, but let's just have a look at these other places. What is this? Otak the Human. There's another little throwback to uh, Dragonlance as well. Can we get a quest? Hey, we can. Old Man Willow has gone too far. Now, this is danger level 24, so it, what it's saying is, it's essentially saying you should be level 24 um, before you go there, and we certainly aren't. Anyway, Old Man Willow's gone too far. He's turned a small section of the forest against all men. Kill everything you find in Old Man Willow's section of the forest. You will be well rewarded for completing this quest. The quest is in the clearing east of the town. So now you've done that, when you leave the building, you can do these other things. Rest for the night, puts all your health up, buy food and drink. To I've never listened to rumours, shall we? Have a rest and a rumour in the inn over some comfortable pitchers of beer. Have a rest and a room. Oh, so what it's actually told us is to go into the inn. Great, thanks, we're in it. Let's get out of that. Now, as you can see over here, that quest has popped up. And once you go into that type of quest entrance, you can you can only go into it once. You If you come back out, you don't get to go into it again. There's a couple of things to talk to you about saving. This is the entrance to the main dungeon, like the main Angband 100 level dungeon. Each town has one of these. And this the great thing about this is even the original Angband had, even the original Zangband, I think, had one town. It just, it had one town. This has about, if you look at this screen, uh, the, the micro map, it has maybe five screens to the left, five screens to the right, five up, five down, and all of them around. It's, it's a huge, huge map. It's absolutely bloody genius. Oh, I'm gonna so love playing this game. It's absolutely friggin' brilliant. Right, this is our house. You can leave some bits and bobs in there if you so choose. So we are gonna leave leave oh we've left <laughs> we're gonna drop this item bing and it goes on our shelf like that uh we're gonna keep those because we're gonna gonna sell them let's look at what other buildings we've got who's this dude blubbering idiot come back here <laughs> clank he's gone what have we got here that looks dangerous the Black Market, Janaka the Shifty. Now here you can usually pick up some pretty high level items, a lot of them sometimes with discounts. Small shield of re reflection, that's good. It reflects missiles. Cannot be harmed by acid, electricity, brilliant. That's a good long sword. Again, the total cost of that is 4,692. We've got 95, so it ain't happening. Um, these things here is showing you what you've actually got on, and it's using the old ASCII tile of what it is in the original Angband. There was a way when it would show, like down here, nope, where it says show icon, it would show the, but they're not showing up for some reason, so I don't really, I don't really know what's going on. Anyway, there's nothing in here to buy, but it's always a good idea to come in here and have a look and see. Look at that, 62,000 silver. You get a lot of silver playing the game, don't get me wrong, but who's this dude? Aimless looking merchant. Come hither. Clank. He's dead. Ooh. 
and he's left us 38 pieces of copper. Uh, what else we've got here? This looks like a priestly place. No, oh, it's just books. As you can see, some of these arcane spell books. So that's the cantrips, minor, that's major. This is a, this is a big book. Let's have, uh, why can't we look at it? Damn, it won't let you read it. That's annoying. It doesn't cost that much though, so it's not one of the really rare ones. Uh, what have we got here? Sign of Chaos and the Chaos Mastery. Uh, and that is, um, even that one's quite good, I suppose, because it's got these bazoobs about it. Um, anyway, that's the book short. So if you want to sell stuff, it's best to go to the place where you would usually pick it up. That's generally a good idea. Um, what is this? The Temple? So you can remove curses of things in here. If I had some items, will it show me that? No. If I just take that off, no, you can't get a remove curse, but you can buy scrolls with remove curse. When you actually, um, when you get cursed, it's a freaking nightmare. Uh, what have we got in here? Staff, various different bits and bobs. We're not gonna be able to pick all this up. Potions are really important. Scrolls are really important throughout the game. Um, potion shop loads of what we've got so you you can actually get some potions that just give you it'll be a potion of charisma and if you drink it it will give you plus one to your actual stat of charisma permanently a restore charisma is when you get if if our uh what is this constitution um got lowered by whatever let, whatever let's just say we were drained or poisoned or whatever and it went down to 17 you would have to use one of these to get it back up to what it was loads of different scrolls mapping etc etc they're quite useful um, actually because they only weigh how much do they weigh i don't know there you go half a pound it tells you they're down there half a pound of tuppany rice however these weigh a little bit more the food weighs there you go we've got six and it's saying it's six out of 52 so each one weighs one so they are actually fairly useful. I'm going to buy one. Uh, we're not going to haggle with this guy. In fact, I thought I had auto haggle turned on. There are a couple of things you want to turn on when you start. Um, deep, 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 deep. Was there an auto haggle? Efficiency. Monsieur Le Minilius. Oh, it is auto haggle, yeah. So what, what I had to do is push, because you can haggle if you want. It's not really worth it. A scroll, a word of recall scroll is great. It just means it takes you to the surface from wherever you are, and then whenever you use one on the surface, it takes you to the lowest point of the main dungeon of where you've ever been. So that they're extremely useful. Otherwise, you have to keep coming up and down, which is uh, not going to happen. Uh, the weaponsmiths, as you can see, load of different weapons. There you go, look at that, 75% off uh, for 2d5 plus 4 plus 5 scimitar. That's a good weapon. Uh, and you do get deals like that around and about. And then we have Mr. Man. Now, we want to buy some of this stuff. Can't afford that, we don't want it. Gauntlets obviously weigh more than gloves, so we don't really want that. We're using a one-handed sword, so we're definitely going to get some of those. Oh, do I have to push enter? Okay. I'm going to have to be using enter instead of space. That's fine. It's not a problem. Um, we don't want any of this armor. Do we want one of these little shields? Five pounds, six pounds. Solid. You know what? We'll buy, we'll buy some, we'll buy some gauntlets. Should we buy a little, we'll buy a little, buy a little shield. Okay. So we've got a couple of bits and bobs. Now we're going to go back over to the, the little store. We're going to buy our cloak. We're just getting ourselves fitted up, ladies and gentlemen. Fitted out. In fact, we're going to buy one of them as well. Oh, no, we are not. Because we do not have enough money. Okay, fine. That's all we got. That is as much as we could get before we have to go into the dungeon. So let's get all our stuff on. And you can see it changing our stats over here. There you go. Your covered hands feel unsuitable for spellcasting. Can't wear gloves if you're a spellcaster. Uh, we've got seven torches, which is great. In fact, we should probably put one on. Oh, that's actually our light source. I thought it was um, your uh, arrows and that, but it ain't. So I best go shut up. Uh, that, this is what 
I like to keep it on what we've... Yeah, I actually usually keep it on what we're holding rather than what we're equipped, definitely. It's a good way of seeing if anything's cursed because you'll be a minus one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, if it gets buggered. All, this is all normal. All normal kind of stuff, man. But one of the greatest things about this game is the killing of aimless merchants. See you later. Um, is this dude. The mayor of Outpost. Here we go. Thieves hideout, ladies and gentlemen. There are thieves robbing my... Hold on, who's this guy? Aldrich the Human. There are thieves robbing my people. They live in a small... But That's a terrible voice. They live in a small burrow outside the city walls, robbing people as they pass on the roads. They even sneak inside the town to mug and pillage. Your task is to go to the burrow and kill these ruffians. We will do that, and all of these voices will change. Come here, get got, and you, give us money. Now this guy, ooh, now, let's just, what is save? Control S, right, I've got to remember to get used to doing that. Control S, so we've saved the game. Let's go and kill this guy, see if we can. He probably won't die straight away, obviously his hit points are at the bottom there in red. Got rid of the hobo. Now, is he even awake? No, he's asleep. So you say in the bottom bottom there, it tells you he's asleep. He will bloody wake up. Don't don't worry about that. We hit the agent of the black market. Hit him twice. He's running away. So as as we move one, he is the same speed as us, so he can move one, which is what he's doing. He should now move up. Oh, he's clever. He's too clever. He's tricksy. Look at him go. He's a clever agent of the dead now we didn't oh we didn't know we didn't get any money for him but that's fine now as you can see the thieves hideouts popped up here that's our first quest but before we're just going to go into here we're going to go into the normal main dungeon oh look at that i didn't even know that was there i did know it was there but i don't really use that kind of thing right uh what is go down shift shift that yes Shift and uh, full stop, essentially.